Hi, I'm Polly McKinney, Advocacy Director of Voices for Georgia's Children, and welcome to my hip-hop two-minute take. If you can hear it, my kids are blasting music downstairs, shaking the floor, um, and they don't really want to turn it down. Say hi to the camera, guys. <laughs> so you're just going to have to endure it, just like I do. Um, this was a really weird week. For those of you that are on vacation in like the sunny Bahamas, it snowed here. And so we had my backyard looked like this, except instead of this being the moon, it was white. And this is me. See, and when my hood's up, I look, I look like Neil Armstrong. <laughs> that was my part of my week. But it was snowy, and so when they had they had all these plans, we had Martin Luther King's birthday, you know, day on Monday, and then Tuesday was budget hearings. And then Wednesday was supposed to be budget hearings, but they didn't do it because the governor closed down the state government and everybody's kids were out of school, including mine. Thursday, government was still closed and everybody's kids were still out of school, including mine. The Senate and House convened anyway in the afternoon. And in that afternoon, the House didn't really do anything regarding kids, but the Senate passed the adoption bill after about, oh, like two hours of debate. So anyway, the Senate passed it pretty much on party lines and immediately transmitted over to the House. So now that bill is sitting in the House. Then the Senate had a press conference, and then the governor tweeted that he wasn't pleased that they had changed the bill. And so it's just a really interesting bill to follow. There's a lot of moving parts. Other things that happened, so the budget hearings that were supposed to happen on, when, on Wednesday did not get rescheduled. They decided to just cancel them. So next week, the House will just start in on the budget. Probably a few weeks later, once the amended budget sort of tightened up and sent over to the Senate, they'll start on the big budget. Um, can you hear my kids? They must be dancing, <laughs> like screaming down there. And the other thing is Monday, which you'll probably be watching this on Tuesday, which means yesterday, uh, Voices released, or will release, however you want to say it with the magic of television, the our Child and Adolescent Behavioral Health Workforce Analysis. It's this awesome document that we worked on really hard um, that talks about what kind of staffing there is and what kind of stuff we need to do to get the workforce up to par to take care of our children's behavioral health needs. Big, exciting deal. Um, we're releasing, we're very hopeful that the uh, Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities will use it in their future planning because they'll have to know what we need. I think that's everything. Today is Friday. The United States House has passed the continuing res that includes the Children's Health Insurance Program. The Senate is like bungling around. They're not, doesn't, it's not looking good for the Senate to pass it as well, which is a problem. So if you want to, you can still keep calling if they don't pass it. I'm, I'm feeling not so good about it. If they do pass it and you read the newspaper and it passed, then don't call them. What you're asked is, other than following the CHIP advocacy that we've been talking about for like ever, please, please look up who your elected official is at the state level, your state senator and your state representative. We'll put a link to Project Vote Smart in the bio and send them an email and just say, hey, I'm a constituent of yours. I care about kids. I will be weighing in on kids' legislation as, it, as we go through the sessions. It's really good to sort of reach out to those folks. They really listen to their constituents. If you have an opinion, you should certainly make it known. They keep track of those calls and they uh, often respond themselves. So that's your ask. And now I will just shut up because I promised this was going to be a shorter uh, thing and it's not. Oh well. Stay warm and we'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah, it's anyway. That's just life. Hip hop life.